morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. Charles here, and welcome to another great show. Now, don't panic. We're back. I know if you're a Rogers customer, you're like, Charles, where did you go? What happened? Yeah, it happened to me too. Shut down. But guess what? We're back. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bring you one guest, two guests. I'm going to bring you three guests just to make up for what happened. So ladies and gentlemen, please bring to the show all of these beautiful ladies to the show. All right. I had to make it up to my viewers, so I brought three guests to the show to make it up for the last one because they were panicking. We went without cell phones. How'd you guys make it without cell phones? My day didn't change. My connection, I didn't lose my connection. I have Bell. Ah, there you go. I have Bell too, so I didn't oh. feel it. <laughs> Come on now. Am I the only one that felt it? <laughs> oh. Time to make a decision, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to make a decision. <laughs> well, you know something? I'm so happy that everything is working out and you guys are here joining us. I'm so happy that we can tell everybody about this great event that's coming up. So, but before we do that, please go around in a circle, introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about yourselves. I can start. My name is Francine Vumbo. Uh, a bit hard to pronounce, but uh I'm an immigrant women in business, in business millennial leader. I'm also the founder of Mothers to Daughters, an intergenerational community of women. And I'm really passionate about diversity and inclusion and um, also social impact, obviously. Really uh, honored to be here. Thank you, Charles. All right. Hi, Hi. I'm Chitra Lekha Potnis. You can call me Chitra. I own a college here. My uh, college name is Peel College of Professional Studies. Professionally, I am an electronics engineer, and I have been working in education for almost 35 years. Would love to help women and empower them through education. Thank you, Charles. Uh, my name is Naira Vilumian. I have PhD in psychology. I'm a registered psychotherapist, Forbes Councils member, and I'm a coach on effective communication and building relationships. Also, I'm the founder of the Academy of Social Competency, where I teach uh, confidence and communication skills. All right. So you see that we have a plethora of education and talent on the screen right now. So with all this talent and all this education, what is the big event coming up? hot it's be it, it will be very hot on july 15th because we are having the uh, great gathering the first uh, offline big gathering after covid uh, which is iwb event and we are all founding members of this and we will meet many guests i believe uh, 300 and plus all right so tell us a little bit more about the networking because i know this is going to be big for people that you know, they've been locked away for a long time, want to get out, want to network. Let's touch on the networking side of things. I just want to say, um, based on the last event, like Naira said, it's been a past two years where we've just, we've, we've just been juggling meeting and not meeting. You know, there was so many restrictions and we're finally back. And one thing about IWB is that events are authentic. So the networking piece is very genuine and it's also very engaging. So that's really what to expect during the event, the warmth of you know the members and uh, the guests we'll be having and that's really what we're going for here well let me ask you this some people are very nervous to network you know they're coming yeah. out they forget they forget their skills they forget how to shake hands and talk to each other and how to introduce themselves can you tell us a little bit about you know how you guys make them feel easy it's just like a, a regular atmosphere can you talk about that I think there's a there's a there's a check in right. I know people are really afraid, even like hugs and all of that. I know we're really big in uh, I, at IWB with that, but um, bringing your business card it's one way to really you know just break that ice and also just being open, right? You know, we're really trying to bring back the normal here. And this is an event where you get to meet so many people. We're expecting over 200 guests and we want people to feel comfortable and, um, you know, steer clear from the nervousness because uh, this is our way to say, you know what, uh, events are back. And um, and yeah, that's really that's really what my advice will be for, for people coming in, just really be open-minded. 
And yeah. And, yeah. I like that. I like that word open minded because in this generation, new businesses, new things are happening. You know, there's new ways of marketing, there's new ways of doing technology. And if you're not open minded to learn from each other, then your business is going to be stagnant. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot of things that all three of you can teach me about my business to get me to the next level as well. So make sure you're there on time. It's happening July 15th. Okay. It starts at five to nine 30. All right. So make sure you get there at four 30. <laughs> Check in, check in early, get a grab and good seats because there's a lot of people that's going to be there, a lot of speakers, and you don't want to miss out. And if you're saying, Charles, okay, we're going, where is it? It is happening at the Toronto City Hall, 100 Queen Street. Make sure you get there. Now, I've actually put the link in the description for you to go to the website. You can buy tickets. Link is there. Okay, I'm going to put it there one more time. There's the website. So tell us, any one of you, what can we expect? What is the main thing that, you know, people can look forward to? So you already mentioned, Charles, that we will have great and big networking. And by the way, for those who are scared of networking, you know what I would say. So our main value is diversity. And, you know, when people go to different events, they have expectations, how it will go, what will be, am I am I good fit? For this crowd you know it's very and we are proud of this you know there is there are there is no fit in our community you know we are open to everyone and that's why there is no right and wrong and so if people will come with this expectation that they fit to us the only thing that they need to bring with them and this is the this is a must to bring their smiles if they're ready you know to put all their <laughs> smiles <laughs> the rest will be will be very good for them and uh, many speakers many hugs uh, many new connections and sponsors they will meet our sponsors and sponsors are those who already established their businesses and there is something to learn from them i like how you said bring your smiles because sometimes if you're too nervous to talk to somebody a simple smile will get you through any door so just give somebody a warm smile and let them come talk to you all right, so you, you talked about, you know, the speakers and the sponsors. So let's go straight to our sponsors. We'd like to thank our sponsors, and we got a lot of great sponsors on this event. So, you know, you never know what gifts and prizes sponsors are always going to be doing some giveaways and stuff like that. So, you know, you see some great sponsors there. You always want to jump on board with that as well. Now, here's the other question I want to ask. Starting off your business, what is the one thing you can tell somebody that's coming that, you know, you started off and we were a little scared about? When I started, I did not have a choice. <laughs> there you go. That's one. It, 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 it was a means of necessary. You had, you had to do something. Yeah. Yeah, I second that. You just yeah. have to jump right in. There's no thinking about it because the more you think, the more critical you are about yourself. So it's really, and the support system, of course, making sure you have people that can also like, accompany you through that journey. Yeah. And the um, thing is, you, you that goal, that drive to push you. Absolutely. For me, you know, basically, I was in education for many years. And definitely, I had a dream of having my educational institute. So definitely, it was a good uh, opportunity that I started my education center. And I'm sure definitely just to uh, ladies, the people, those who would be attending that uh, on July 15th, uh, they show they would be definitely benefited and would love to interact with them. There you go. We're going to take a quick break and give you some advertising. When we come back, we're going to talk about more about this great event, the speakers. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Immigrant Women in Business, IWB, is a nonprofit organization bringing together women from over 50 different countries around the globe. These women have now made Canada their home and share a common goal of providing value to their new sisters. Our motto of We Are Stronger Together resonates with all members and with a diverse membership of business leaders, entrepreneurs and community builders our goal is to make Canada better and provide guidance and leadership to those that follow. Now, I put this on the screen because I encourage you all to get there early, register, and sign up because there's a lot of great speakers on here. It has the times on there, networking, some of the, you know, what they do, who are the speakers on here. 
and there is some phenomenal speakers that are going to give you a lot of information so you can't miss out networking is key and you might see some familiar faces right there right there <laughs> so real quick what are you what are you what are you guys talking about when what are you on at 6 30 open keynote so 6 30 you're doing your special tell a little bit about what you're going to be talking about would definitely would like to talk on education where would like to encourage people to education educate more and once they have good education and training definitely it would be very as uh, for them it, it is going to be a very comfortable life and support to society and community as well make there them financially independent and emotionally independent See, that's the key one for me financially independent yes you're not, you're not worrying about anybody else you can do it on your own yes. you know and how you start is by talking to networking talking to people like yourself and how are you doing it how are you bringing in that income sure yeah would like to encourage more women entrepreneurs and help them out to become women entrepreneurs all right i see a big title here leave no one behind explain that one <laughs> it's really about rallying everyone from Gen Zers, millennials, and because I'm really big on generational gaps, that's what Modest Dollars focuses on. So I'll be talking about programs that we recently launched to support uh, newcomers and also support um, the less experienced and uh, 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 side of women, right? In you know launching a business or just advancing their career. And personal lives right and there's a there's a lot of keynotes a lot of sp speakers a lot of sponsors so there's a lot of great things happening on this event that you don't want to miss out on to so make sure you jump on board and i think if i'll go back correctly right there the mindset of a high achievers what is that all about uh good question charles thank you i think uh, it's uh, uh it's about mindset hygiene uh how you how you look at the world how you perceive the world what do you expect from the world what do you expect from yourself and how you self position so when i say hygiene it means being disciplined being you know attentive to what's going on what you would like to take and what you what you don't want to see in your life it's about making your choices and it's about making the right choices yeah and i'm seeing here i'm looking at a lot of a lot of great speakers and a lot of authors as well. So here's the funny thing. There's so many people out there that are always scared to write a book. Like, you know, they're like, oh, I got so many things to say and I have my book. And I'm like, oh, when's it coming out? Oh, I'm still working on it. How long have you been working on it? Oh, for the past four years, it's, it's not finished yet. It's never going to be finished because they're scared and nervous to put it out there. So I guess if we see here, there'll be a lot of other authors there that can help them out to, you know, get their book out. And that's the key thing is, it's just sitting here. It's not really a book. You got to get it out there. And there's a lot of great authors on this program that will help you to do that as well. All right. So here's the key thing. One, it's July 15th. Two, City Hall. Three, it's at 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Four, just go register. Go online, register, get your tickets. Don't lose out. If you need for more information... Just go to the website. It's absolutely there to help everybody out. All right. So before we let you go, give everybody one point why they should show up to this great event. Relationship building. Okay. Well done. Well done. Relationship building. You can't just drop that and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, not a nugget. that's not a nugget you just drop and walk away. What do you mean relationship building? I mean, like Naira mentioned, there's a lot of that. There will be a lot of diversity in the room. I think being coming into that event intentional about coming out of it with, you know, at least five great contacts or just people to follow up with will be a win for our participants. Right. So go in, go in with a straight focus goal. Um, yeah. You know, my friend always told me, like, if when you bring when you bring business cards bring only a certain amount of business cards and make it your point to narrow down great people that you want to talk to great people you never want to network but at the end of the day you got to walk away with five great business cards that you know you're going to call you're going to network and take your business to that next level so right. make sure you go there with your business cards your pen and paper ready to take notes 
Because you'll be, listen, I always have my notepad beside me because <laughs> all my great guests are always giving me nuggets. So say that one more time. Relationship building. And there are digital cards nowadays, right? I've been doing a few networking events and people don't carry cards anymore. They have I, these scan QR codes. So it's even more effective. <laughs> I got mine right See? there. <laughs> I'm speaking to a connoisseur here. There you go. I got mine right there. I don't know if you can see it. So you can I can scan, see it. You can scan away. You can just send them your text and it has all your websites, all your information, everything in one shot. Yeah. Okay. Phone number is key. Everything is D. So let me ask you guys a question. Why are you hesitating? Why are you wasting time? Click the link. Click the website right there. Join them. Make sure you jump on board. All right. Nara, like you said, give us a point why they should join up. Uh, I would say learning, learning and self-development. It's a great possibility to come and self-present properly. So there is no, um, uh, it's a skill that should be always developed and uh, how you will do it, how you will speak about yourself and how others people will react to what you are saying. This is very important. So it's a great place to practice your social skills, self-presenting skills and to learn from those who do it better than you do. All right. Now let's, let's stop on that one as well. It's been a while we forget how to network. So the, yes, you have to upgrade your skills. And what better place is to come here where there's going to be hundreds of people that you can try your, what do they call it? The elevator pitch, right? Introduce yourself. How did it go? Are they engaged? Maybe you got to change your pitch. You got to talk to different people. You know, are you rambling on about your business? Are you not listening? This is a place to do it. Find the people. Absolutely loving these points. And there is, you know, such a term as charisma, so charisma, the only place where you can develop your charisma, not at home in front of your mirror, but being surrounded by people. I love that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. My mirror, my mirror always smiles back at me. Like it's always happy. So like that's not <laughs> but absolutely right. Your your mirror does not give you your feedback. Your mirror does not engage you and you can't read the vibe off of your mirror. So there you go. All right. Jitra, last one. What do you think? Would, would love to spread word education and develop and develop more women entrepreneurs to make more business women in this area where would like to help and support through this networking and encourage them that as we being an immigrant business, immigrant women in this country, we have also started our education business. So would like to encourage more women to become a business woman. And that and here's the thing. People are afraid to be their own entrepreneurs. People are yeah. afraid to have their own business. They're comfortable right now in the job they go to every yeah. day. They wake up and they do the same thing for yeah. Monday to Friday. They're robotic, come back home, robotic, come back home. They have yeah. great ideas, but they're a little too scared to start their small business. And even if it's a little small business, something small, a one pager, they're frightened. But here's the thing. Come to this great event and they'll help you push you to that next level. Sure. I always say yeah. somebody needs somebody to help them jump. Here's your opportunity to jump. It's right there on July 15th. It's happening Toronto City Hall. And what time is it? From 5 to 9.30. And what time are they supposed to get there? 4. 4.30. <laughs> there you go. Four. <laughs> get, there, get, better. get there early sign up make sure you get a good seat you're networking all the time because remember networking starts from the time you park your car and walk up to the building people outside people in the hallway people registering that's when the network starts all right ladies, Absolutely. it's been a pleasure so much so before we go one more time i love what you're doing tell everybody real quick what you guys do I'm the founder of the Intergenerational Community Mothers to Daughters, and I'm also a millennial leader with Immigrant Women in Business. So all about elevating uh, the younger generation. Nice. I'm founder, I'm founder and co-owner of Peel College of Professional Studies, Mississauga, Ontario. I'm teaching communication, relationship building skills, and confidence to youth and adults. There you go. And I'm Charles Matthew. So honored that these ladies could come on my show and do a, such a great event. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us this morning. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Thank Listen, you. 
like I always said, you didn't have to watch, but I'm so glad you did. But that's just the first step. Watching is one thing. The next thing is pushing that button, signing up, get to the next level. We'll see you there. Are you going to be there? I'm going to be there. I want to see you there. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, It's come to an end. But the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share, and get involved. Join us next time. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice.